All right, all right, all right. Back again. Again, it is late in the evening, and I've been fielding calls all day for you guys. I've been fielding calls all day for you. That's what I do, man. I appreciate the support that you guys giving me to, you know, for me to do these calls. Look, listen, let me tell you something. If you guys like like these type of videos if you guys rock with me show your support man by hitting that like button because it shows youtube that you're rocking with your boy it really trust me hitting those likes or or dislikes it doesn't matter either or if you like it you like it if you don't you don't but just hit it it show it really shows youtube that you're rocking with your boy and it really does help in the YouTube algorithm. You guys reached out to me via, the, uh, I guess I left information to call. And yeah, like I said, a young lady just, just, called, just called me like five minutes ago from extension 181 something. I, I didn't know the last number, so that's why I just asked the you know, okay, the, let's see. It may have been, um, it may have been Christina. Let me, um, let me see. Okay. All right. One, let's see. Let me just double check because I do think it was her out of Purdy Brothers. Let's see. Did you, right. did you I'm mention Party Brothers? You. Yes, I did. Are y'all associated with them? So they're one of our JV companies. Um, P and S Logistics actually own Purdy Brothers, um, and so they're they're one of our companies. Interesting. Yes, sir. I talk. So you, so do you guys recruit for for Party Brothers as well? Um. So we can we I guess. All of the PNS recruiters, they don't um, recruit for Purdy Brothers, but we actually have a couple of, um, you know, I think we have like two recruiters that um, do Purdy Brothers. Oh, okay, um, because I... But, you know, I, I can answer some very basic information about them. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I already talked to somebody from Purdy Bro uh, Party Brothers, so... So yeah, I, okay. I, yeah, I already yeah, I, I I didn't know that you guys was like up under the same umbrella, you know, but then that's yeah, that's something. Yeah, and I mean the, the only difference. Go uh, ahead. Go no, and it's and it's becoming apparent that a lot of these trucking companies are lightweight. <laughs> it's lightweight, undercover, owned by other by uh, other companies. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of crazy to find mm -hmm. that out. <laughs> yeah, now, now P&S Logistics, we actually own a, a handful of companies. Um, most all of our companies are flatbed, so Purdy Brothers is our only reefer division that we have. Okay, can you can you do me a favor and 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 kind of like tell me what, what what's the other companies that you guys uh, that you guys have up under your umbrella? Oh goodness, I don't even know if I can name them all. Um, let's see. <laughs> well, this, this, um, so DMT, um, DMT is one, um, and they're out of Florida. Okay. Uh, we have um, National Strategic Transportation. Okay. Not quite sure where they're um, where they're headquartered. We also have um, Curry um, Transportation is out of Iowa. Okay. Uh, we have Loudoun County, um, HS Express. Uh, we have DT Freight, which is out of Tuscaloosa, and I think HS Express is out of Ohio. Um, we do MTV and MRC. I'm not quite sure where they're headed. Wow. And then Red Mountain um, is one of ours, and they're actually here in Birmingham. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we've got a handful, and, I mean, I don't even think that that's all of them, but I'm not wow. sure. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you very much. Well, uh, okay. Well, uh, are you are you a recruiter for PNS, or you just or you just want me to talk to the person who actually called? Because it doesn't. It doesn't matter who I talk to about PNS. 
Yeah, I mean, I am a recruiter for PNS. Only reason I ask is because I don't want to slip on somebody else's toes. If somebody's already been reaching out to you, I would, you know, I would rather transfer you to them. But I don't see you in our system right now. Oh, um, okay. So, I, you know, I'd be more than happy to answer your questions and, um, you know, see what you're looking for. All right. So, so PNS is is a flatbed company. Yes, sir. Okay. Do you do you offer training for for drivers that don't have flatbed experience? Um, so where are you located at? I'm out of Ohio. Ohio. Um, and do you have any driving experience, like any over the road within the last three years? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Okay. How much over the road do you have in the I, last three years? I got five. Okay. So um, what we do offer, um, and it's something we just kind of started um, at the beginning of the month, I'm just kind of seeing how it goes is a um, like a flatbed training program so as long as you have a year of over the road driving within the last three years we can do a like two to three week course of flatbed just kind of showing you about procurement there will be a little bit of road training involved um, and then from there you would transition into company driver once your trainer signs off on it you would transition over to company driver um, and go from there so it is something we do and our next class is actually in march Oh, okay. But as a but as of right now, coming in, you you have to have. Well, what's the what's the how much experience that you guys require? Um, so you come straight on as a company driver. Yes. Uh, we would need one year of over the road and six months of flatbed experience oh, okay. within the last three years. Um, and with that flatbed, we would just need you to have hauled a little bit of our commodities. Like we do a lot with steel, so like steel pipes, steel coils, flat steel, and building materials. Oh, okay, okay, and that's that's on that, that's on flatbed, right? Yes, or, on flatbed. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Well, what's the uh, what's what's the pay per mile for flatbed? Uh, we we actually do percentage, so it's percentage of the load revenue, um, and so it's twenty seven percent. I think it averages out to be like a, as far as since from all go, you know, if you're hustling and moving every single day and making Monday deliveries like early in the morning if you can. Um, I think it averages out to be about fifty five cents a mile. Fifty five cents a mile. But that's mm -hmm. but you guys paying oh, okay, so twenty seven percent of the load and this is for company driver, right? Yes. Um uh, and we do offer a lease purchase program after ninety days and so once you go lease purchase it would be seventy percent. Okay, okay, seventy percent of the load. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. let me ask you this: Where's the orientation held at? I mean, it would be well. Would you be in Ohio? Um, we have two locations, so it would kind of just depend on what safety requires. Um, so there's a location for orientation in Emporia, Virginia, and the other one would be here in Birmingham, Alabama. Okay. Um, so basically, you know, once we send your application for approval, you know, if safety requires any sort of extra training um, or anything like that, then we would have to bring you to Birmingham because um, it'll do that in Emporia. But if, you know, everything's approved with no conditions or anything, you know, obviously it'd be closer for you to get in for you so you can get a load quicker um, to be home on the weekend. Okay. You, you, you kind of broken up there a little bit. Uh, I, I didn't get in. I said what? I said you broke up there a little bit. I didn't get none of that. Uh, you said oh, I'm sorry. You, said, you said two locations, and then uh, safety, and that was all I got. So okay, I'll, I'll repeat. There it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> now, now you sound a lot better. Okay. There you go. All right. So we have two locations for orientation. Um, and so basically just depending on what safety decides. So if safety decides that there's a condition like, you know, smith system or cool training or anything like that, then we would have to bring you to Birmingham. Um, but, you know, if they approve your application, I can do, like, you know, with no conditions attached, then we could send you to Emporia. Um, and Emporia is closer for you, so, we could, you know, we could get you home that weekend afterwards once you get your truck, um, as opposed to bringing you all the way to Birmingham and ha having to drive all the way up north, you know. Um, so we have those two options. It just kind of depends on what safety requires. Okay. How how would you get how would you get me to uh, to orientation? Uh, we provide your travel. Um, everything you know. We want to make it as easy for you as possible. So if you wanted to fly here, if you want a rental car, if you want to take the bus, we'll make it happen for you. It's totally your call. Uh, right. We also provide your hotel room um, while you're here, as well as your food. So really, you don't have to worry about anything unless you just want to. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. All right, so from start, so the process from start to finish, when I, 
when I put in my application all the way up until I get into the truck, how long would that how long would that take? Uh, applicate. So, if, I mean, if I was to get your application today, I could probably let you know something in the morning um, about that approval. And then uh, we do orientation every Monday. It's Monday through Thursday. Thursday, you get your truck with your first load and you're headed out. So, I mean, if I got your application in and approved by, you know, tomorrow morning, I could have you in orientation on Monday. What kind of what kind of drug tests you guys use? They are 2018 or newer and they're Freightliner no, Cascade. No, 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 no. Dr drug tests. <laughs> <laughs> oh, drug test. Yes. Sorry. Um, so, I mean, it's just, we do a, a urine screen. Sometimes they do a hair follicle. Oh, okay. Now, for a driver, so y'all do a hair follicle for a driver that might not have body hair or hair period? You know, we could... um, honestly, they're, they're going to take care from wherever they can get it. Um <laughs> If, it, if it's one of those things, I guess it's impossible to do, then we'll, you know, once a little bit of hair grows out, you know, we'll, we'll try again. Oh, okay, okay. What, uh, what, 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 what's your thing going felons? Now, I'm not a felon, but do you, do you guys bring on felons? What, what's your policy on that? You said for salary? No, felons. Felons. Felons? Uh, we look at everything as a whole, so we don't really have any sort of, um, or, you know, requirements as far as that goes. I mean, safety definitely takes all the applications, looks at everything as a whole as far as your reports and everything goes. So, I mean, that would just kind of, you know, be an extra information that we have, but it's not necessarily the qualifying factor. Okay. Uh, can I keep my DOT card or do I have to get a new one? You can keep it as long as it's attached to your MVR. You can definitely keep that. Um, and, you know, once we get you into orientation, we just... Um, you know, just make sure you bring that information with you. Okay. Is there a sign-on bonus? Yes, it is a uh, $5,000 sign-on bonus that would be paid out up to your first year. Uh, you get 1200 of that on your first check. Okay. What about, uh, what, what about um, for the orientation and being that, if I, you know, you got starting, you got starting next month with the, with the training. So how, how much would I would get uh, per day with that? Okay, so so these questions are about the training programs. So everything I guess that I've answered so far would be about the company driver position. Mm -hmm. So with the training program coming into that, so you'd be making six hundred or up to six hundred dollars a week for the two to three weeks that you're there mm -hmm. um, in the classroom, and then after that, once you go solo, you'll make a minimum of nine hundred dollars a week for six weeks. Um, that's when you're at out, that point. You know, you'll that's when you're out with a trainer, right? Um, so, yeah, so that was when you're out with a trainer, and then after that, you transition over into regular company driver status, and you are operating at that 27%, so you no longer have a minimum, um, but, you know, as long as, you know, the minimum is 900 for six weeks, and then, you know, if you make more than that, that's, you know, totally awesome, um, but after those um, six weeks are up, it's just a 27%, so at that point, it's, it, you know, it's completely and totally up to you to just make sure you're hustling to make that money. Um uh, let's see. And then once you, like, the sign-on bonus for the training is different. I think it's $1,500. Um, <clears throat> so it's it's not the same as, you know, just coming straight on as a company driver, and that would still be paid out. Um, okay. Let me see how that one is. Let's Okay, and so that's going to be paid out over six months. You get 500 of that on your first, after you deliver your first load, another 500 after three months, and then another 500 after the last three months. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, do you guys require hazmat for for some for a flatbed load? Uh, no, we don't. We don't do anything with hazardous materials here, um, so it's not a not a requirement at all. All right. Uh, do you guys pay for tarping? Or is that included uh, with yes, the percentage? Is. No, we actually pay for it. So we do about 40% tarping here, and it's a $30 tarp pay. Okay. Now, for tarping, that's for tarping. does that include the hours, or do we get paid hours, too? Like? Like a half an hour? Like we, for however many hours it yeah, takes you the, to the, tarp it? Yes, yes. No, so it's just thirty dollars straight. So if you have to tarp a load, you get thirty dollars for tarping that load. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, is there any guarantee pay that you guys offer? 
No, unfortunately there's not. Um, you know, it just kind of is totally up to you. Um, you know, that's all we try to, to stress. You know, run every day, um, make those early deliveries because, you know, nothing, like I said, we don't do any sort of guarantee pay, but we want you to make the money that you're looking for. Um, okay. so, you know, as long as you're hustling and you're moving, you know, you know, you'll be the one to guarantee that money. See, I mean, I mean, ten four, ten four. Is a uh, per diem? You, you guys do per diem for for the pay? Um, yes, we do. Let me see if I can find that information because I definitely know we do that. Um, is it? Why are you looking for it? Is it mandatory? Um, huh? That's a question I would have to find out. I've never been asked that before. Um, let's see. So, I'm going to say that it, it most likely is uh, mandatory because it's allotted as part of your pay and it's okay. not taxed to you. Right. Um, so, I'm going to say that it, it is mandatory just because it's going to the payroll for stuff. Okay, okay. What benefits do you guys offer? We, uh, we offer Blue Cross Blue Shield medical, dental, um, and vision, we actually do a ten thousand dollar life insurance policy, and you know if you wanted to increase the value of that policy, you just pay the difference in it. We also do like um, short term disability. Um, I think those are the big ones. I think there's like a um, you know if you're if you're diabetic, I believe there's a plan for that as well. Um, going to pull up the benefit booklet just to make sure I don't forget anything. Um, medical, dental, vision. Uh, I did the life insurance policy. We also have a volunteer, voluntary policy, um, short-term disability plan. Um, there's a you know a diabetes management program. If um, that's something you would need, and it looks like that's about it as far as our benefits go. But we actually, I mean, everything that we have is you know it's pretty good rates. Uh, I don't know you know if you have a family or anything like that, but our rates are pretty good um, as far as you know what other companies offer. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, what about holidays? Holidays? Uh, we try to get most drivers home on the holidays if it works out. Um, you know, if there's you know if there's something special that you're looking forward to, um, always just stress communication with your dispatcher. Definitely let your driver manager know. You know what's going on, what your goal is, because we get, that's the best way for us to work it out for you um, and to make it happen. Because obviously, you know we everybody's trying to do their job here so we definitely want to work together and make that happen so communication as soon as you know something like you know if you need to be somewhere definitely let them know as far as paid holidays go yes. um you get one week of paid vacation after one year um <clears throat> excuse me and then i think it would be two weeks after three years all right do we get do we get paid holidays or no um I don't believe so. I don't believe you do in your first year. Okay. But I can definitely, that can be some, I'll make a note of that and I'll definitely find out about that. All right. Now, do you, do you guys offer lease options? Absolutely. Um, so after 90 days, um, you can go on the lease purchase program. Now, if you do the training program, you have to wait a year. Um, but if, you know, if you come on shared as a company driver, you just wait 90 days to go in the lease purchase program. Uh, we actually have a team that will sit down with you and kind of discuss those options. Okay, okay. Was, can, you, can you give me a little bit of background, like how much uh, a month for, or how much a week for the trucks? Um, if, I, if I know correctly, because I don't do a lot with lease purchase, but I'm going to tell you, I guess, a little bit that I, I think I know. Okay. Um, I believe it's like between 450 and $500 a week for the truck, and I want to say it gets paid out up to four, I think it's four years. It could be five years. Mm -hmm. Um the the revenue is different so as a company driver it's 27 percent but once you go lease purchase it's 70 percent mm -hmm. um so i think you know i think drivers kind of average about i want to say maybe seventeen thousand a month and my math could be way wrong um as far as that goes and again that's that's with the hustle the only difference is you know and you know i'm sure you know this as a company driver you know we're doing um most of the the back work for you. If your truck is messed up, we're gonna hate. We're gonna take care of that. Whereas lease purchase, if the truck is messed up, that's coming out of your paycheck. Um, <clears throat> so those are just kind of the things to kind of weigh those options. And I don't know, you know, when you sit down with the lease purchase team, I don't know if you know they can work it out to where, you know, you pay it out over you know less amount of time, maybe pay more money, um, you know, instead of having to wait so long for it to be yours, or maybe make it longer. 
those would definitely be questions to ask the team, you know, when you get into that. And, I mean, if it's something you're interested in, I can definitely set you up with a driver and, um, you know, you can talk about it with somebody who's here mm-hmm. and then kind of get it from their perspective if that's something, you you know, you would think you would be interested in doing. All right. What, uh, what's, what's the routes consist of? Uh, would, would I be able to do a regional or is this uh, over the road? Um, well, we service all 48 states. Um, with you being in Ohio, uh, let's see, with you being in Ohio um, in that flex dispatch, I mean, you could run into the northeastern region, you could run down here into the southeastern region, or you could run west. It kind of just depends. So that's the kind of the purpose of the flex dispatch is you get to pick which way you want to go with that based on whether, you know, the revenue. Because obviously, you know, you're looking to make some good money. So wherever that revenue is going and, you know, if you feel comfortable taking that, I know some drivers feel certain type of way about going in certain directions so it's i mean it's totally your call with that flex dispatch however we do serve as all 48 states okay it just with that flex dispatch you get to kind of pick where you want to go with it all right so what about uh what what about uh what about home time what's 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 my home time looking like ohio we can get you home every weekend every weekend oh perfect um Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what about the trucks? What what now? What what you guys offer? What what trucks you guys offer? They are um, right now. They're all the 2018 or newer. Um, their Freightliner Cascadia is all automatic. Oh, okay. Okay. What what comes? What's the amenities? Any amenities inside the truck? Uh, no, no amenities. They all come really standard. Anything that you want to put in the truck can be um, powered. Um, I think you can use up to two 1200 watt um, inverters. Okay, so all bare bones. Okay, all right. What's what's the uh, ELD computer you guys use? Oh, we we use the Qualcomm. Oh, okay, uh, for the fuel, uh, for the for the fuel, what what fuel cars uh, that we that we use or that we get? Like what what gas stations or truck stops do we use? What, yeah, like, you know, do you use the EFS card, Com Data card? Um, I'm going to say EFS card, uh, okay. only because that's, that's the one that I think I've heard the most of, but I can definitely find out about that, too. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Well, I guess, uh, I guess I only have a few more questions. Uh, what about pet and rider policy? Yeah, you can have a rider as long as they're 18 or older. Um, you know, if somebody wants to ride in the truck with you, you just got to make sure you send that information to your dispatcher. Um, I think we just need a picture of their license in order for you to, or for anybody to ride with you. Um, you just send that to your dispatcher and let them know, and you're, you know, you're good to go with them. Oh, okay. What about a pet? A pet? Yes. Yeah, we don't have any pet restrictions. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, what's the trust governing yeah. that? 65 miles per hour. And I guess last but not least, since uh, since I'll be driving regional, can I take the truck home? Yes, absolutely. Um, so they don't have to be parked at the terminal. You can take it home if you have a place or, you know, if you, know, if you uh, work it out with your dispatcher to park that in a safe spot, you can definitely do that. All right. Well, hey, thank you. Thank you for, uh, for uh, reaching back out to me. I really do appreciate it. Um, uh, a little, yeah, little bit more information than what it was in the Facebook. But uh, I thank you very, very much uh, for that. Uh, the company what is P, P&S, right? P&S, like pipe and steel. Oh, okay. What? Wait, P and F or P and S? Like Paul Sam. P and S. Oh, Paul Sam. Like the letter P and the letter S. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> What's, that's an abbreviation. Yeah, it's kind of hard to understand. That's an abbreviation. What's what's that abbreviated for? Um, so our owners are um, Paul and or yeah, Paul and Scott. Oh, um, oh, and so okay. that's the parents. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is uh, so this is family owned, huh? Uh yeah, I believe. Um, I, I think they're brothers. I'm pretty positive they're brothers. Um, it's a small company. They started. Um. I want to say 20 years ago. I don't remember the date off the top of my head, but about 20 years ago. Oh, that's cool. um, and they've just been kind of working it and running it ever since. While Scott's actually here every single day. Um, so he's walking up and down the hall, seeing everybody. So definitely, uh, it feels like a big company, but it's definitely got a small heart. 
All Sorry, right. it's a big heart, a small company. <laughs> I right. said that backwards. All right. Well, thank you very much for calling me back. I really do appreciate it, and um, I will, I will definitely take this back to my Facebook group and uh, let them know that I talked to you and uh, and uh, let's see if they, you know, interested in coming on or talking with you. And I'll keep this in. Uh, I'll keep this in my archive. So if I ever decide to come flatbed, I know the. I know okay. to come and try out with you guys next month because that's when y'all start the training program. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I would love to send you over some information to your email. Do you have an email address that I can send all this to? Well, yeah, I appreciate that. It is lockoutmen, L-O-C-K-O-U-T-M-E-N-P-O-D-C-A-S-T at gmail.com. Okay, I think I messed up a lot of those letters in the beginning. So, L O C K lockout. Yeah, L O C K O U T lockout. M E N. Lockout men podcast. Okay. Yeah. At gmail.com. Okay. All one word. Okay. Yeah, I'll send some information over to you there, Sean. And if you have questions, definitely just give me a call back, and I'll be happy to help you out. I appreciate it. I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy that you. I'm, I'm happy that you came on and answered some questions for me. Thank you very much. Yeah, you have a great day, Sean. Thank you. You too. Now. Bye. P N S. P N S. Paul and Scott. So if you guys interested in PNS trucking, they are a flatbed. They got a percentage, which is about 27% of the low. If you got, you know, if you got flatbed experience, and uh, of course you're gonna come in there. Hopefully, you hopefully 27%. You'll probably get. A little bit a little bit more depending on your experience level but if you know as of right now I guess a five-year driver that's coming in on the company side is 27% but on the lease side it is 70% for the uh, for the load so if you guys interested in PNS definitely give them a call I do appreciate them coming on and chopping it up with us See, that's what it's about. It's, it's, it's about that. Coming on, chopping up, I mean, chopping it up with us, letting us know what they have to offer. And if anybody interested, they'll definitely uh, get a hold. You know what I'm saying? You, you're reaching out to a vast, uh, a vast community of people here. I mean, you know, like I said, I got, I got over 5,000 subscribers, but whoa, I got a lot of people that watch the channel you know what i'm saying i'm just saying i'm just saying you know it's it's nothing bad there's nothing bad about it i mean if you really don't have nothing to hide about the about your company come on yo i'm reaching out to everybody yo drivers uh uh recruiters uh business owners anybody that wants to come on lockout men podcast and 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 represent your company or promote your company by all means come on send me a G, send me an email lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com i will welcome the opportunity to sit down and chat with you get this information out for you and get it out to our listeners that's that might be interested in in coming into the trucking game or flatbed for that matter well, that is it, everybody. What do you think of the call? If you have any questions or suggestions or anything like that, definitely leave it in the comments below, and I will try to get some answers for you, and I will try to get the calls out there for you. You know, that's that's what I do. I do that for you guys, all right? Hook a brother up with some coffee, man. Hook a brother up with some coffee. I mean, today has just been an awesome day. So thank you to everybody that called me today and was willing to talk with me about the companies that y'all represent. All of the recruiters that was that was featured on 
on this podcast today, man. Thank you very much. Uh, like I said, it's it's a big help for all new jacks, for all drivers that's thinking about switching, you know, switching companies or whatever the case. Thank you very much for coming on and 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 sharing the information about about the company that you uh, represent. Yo, this is Lockout Man, and I'm about to go. You guys take it easy, and I'm about to hit the outro. Y'all take it easy once again, and I'll come back at y'all with another video. Another video. Peace.